That is so clean. <laughs> My nigga basically car is over here, man. Let's go. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You're my lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't never seen. And today, we're starting from zero with another episode of Fate Zero, man. It feels so confusing saying Fate Zero because we mistakenly said that a few times when we started watching Fate Stay Night, the 2006 <coughs> edition. You, you mistakenly. I mean, of course I'm going to mistakenly say it, but you know you were mistakenly saying it in your mind, no. too. I think you said that like when we was watching something or we we was reviewing one of the episodes. No. Don't try to put me on the spot. Yay. We doing this together. If I go down, you want to with well, me. Well, you want to go down by yourself. Cause... Mm. But whatever, man. But yeah, man, we, uh, we, we jumped in with both feet. Like, this is going to be an interesting ride. <sighs> Full of a lot of pre predictions, a lot of preconceived notions based on what we already experienced in the 2006 Fate Stay Night series, which isn't the most liked, but a very interesting premise nonetheless that we can kind of go off of. It's almost like a template. Yeah, yeah, now we're into this and it's, you know, they were summoning the damn um, servants, you know, when we left off on the last episode. So we're going to see what that's about. Um, right, yeah, uh, but... We got interesting characters. We got uh, yeah. we I don't got know. Shiro's dad and um, Kota Mine. Yeah, Kota Mine and Ilya's dad. Yeah, which is Shiro's dad. Apparently, right. we got Draco Malfoy, whose name is Eloy or something like that, Meloy yeah. or something some, some similar along those, along those And lines. then um, we got. We got a oh, young dude. kid, like that's a, a schoolboy that's very yeah, with the Edna emo well vibe on point. Oh, well, actually, not on point. It was not looking good. Yeah. Um, he need a new wig. We got um, the dude who had the worms, Caria, 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 something yeah, like that. Something yeah, something like that. Caria. We got know. him. Okay, and. Yeah. I, I mean, that's that's basically that's who we've seen so far. The main set of characters. Yeah. That are now be I'm in this already war. wondering because we watched Fate Stay Now t Stay Night, okay, 2006. I'm trying to figure out is most of these people is finna die because the only people that we really knew about that was in the previous Girl War was Kota Mine and Emiya. Mm -hmm. We gonna call Big Daddy Emiya Emiya, <laughs> and if we ever referring to the son, we are gonna talk about Shiro. That's yeah. what we gonna say. So anyway. We're trying to figure out, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to jump into it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this, guys. This is going to be episode two titled False Start. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one. The name False is already princesses. interesting. Right. I'm going to hit my screen record. Go ahead and start now. Can they even hear that? I'm pretty sure this thing picks up everything, but here we go, guys. We had a turn back. Damn. Damn. Somebody getting their ass beat. Or something. This big boy. He like something he a king. Something the sandals. I like how the thing be appearing somewhere else. What? Oh, what the hell? What do you think you're doing breaking the shutter open like that? Why didn't you go through his spirit form like when you entered? I cannot carry these things. Uh oh. While I am in my spirit form. He's a warrior. And don't whine so much. You sound like you're some kind of common thief or street urchin. Well, if you aren't a thief, then what the hell are you? I like how you use a stark contrast from this mm -hmm. master. A cowardly thief sneaks away in the night, full of fear. If you stride away, bursting with song, proudly, then what you are is a conquering king. Just what I needed. Now get out of here! Get lost! Get lost now! Very well, then I shall leave you to carry the spoils. Try not to drop them. <laughs> But I'm interested in learning where all my old territories That's why I just located. said, something tell me he fitting to want to beat his ass. Because hmm. hmm. that little kid is annoying. <laughs> I spent my life conquering that land and look how puny it is. Who the hell is this supposed to be then? Because he pointed to, to somewhere started. in Europe. He said his name, bro, what you was talking. Where exactly on this map are Blame we it all on right me. now, boy? What, what was his name? I couldn't hear it. Damn. So, the other side of the round land. Hmm. Good news indeed. This will guide us well in the coming battles. Guide us well? First, to the other side of the world. Due west, and we go as fast as we can. 
and we shall conquer every land that we pass through. I shall return to Macedonia in triumph, and my people will hold a festival in honor of my. Nigga, your people are gone, bro. Now, how oh. will that be? I just want people to treat me fairly. I want to make all those idiots back at the clock tower who never even oh wanted to give me a chance right to admit to me that they were wrong. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. bitch, better have my money. That was Alexander the Great. I uh, guess so. You mean to tell me that in this battle, your only concern is for your ridiculous reputation? And you dare call yourself my master? We gonna find that out. Terrible disappointment that is pretty... So I was right. He did slap him upside the head. Yeah. I'm a psychic. For others to I'm a psychic. And respect. <gasps> Perhaps you should try using the Holy Grail's power to grow another 30 centimeters and add a little bit of muscle. <laughs> Woo! He is flaming him. Then he gonna go back to read. To I'm not he finna to obey you over some petty childish right? things. Right? Get an Arthur mode. In accordance with the Grail's laws, you gonna I'm use this man? He's Kander the Conqueror. Oh, it's Kander the Conqueror. Mm. Oh, I guess they were saying it's supposed to be. A master can only use his command seal to compel his servant's obedience three times, and that's all. You might want to say Don't that. Don't waste that. Command seals, I won't be able to control him when this I nigga's going to let his emotions get in the way. He is. So you wish to see my power. I'm going to beat these hoes ass. That's what he's going to say. Well, well, of course I do. You need to prove to me that I can rely on you no matter what the situation. <laughs> I'll show you. I bit smart slap mountains. Sword, I declare my supremacy. Oh shit, no! This is not gonna go well. The fuck? This thing that shot down all the electric poles and shit? What? Wow. Who is Who's this? He done summoned them a damn ride. Nice. Boy. Silver chariot. They got the black bulls on deck. The ox chariot that King Gordon's once offered up to Zeus. Its renowned reputation must be the source of my designation as a rider class servant. If you want the grail, then find me another hero or two. Someone worthy for me to fight. <laughs> Until then, I shall entertain myself by sitting here and looking at these maps. That will not pose a problem. Will it? Right. You gotta seek out the competition, my nigga. Our next match won't happen until you come back from your trip to Japan, will it? That's right. Oh, maybe I'm not coming back. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a Japanese son and leave you here with mom. I should be back here in Sorry. two weeks or so. Your mom won't be back for quite a while, though. Ten years later. Yeah, mommy told me about that already. She said we'd be apart for a long time. She also told me that even if we don't see each other for a long, long time, she'll always be right here by my side. So mom knows so she's gonna be depleted. Be she told me that before I went to sleep. I'm gonna be together with mommy. Well, forever and ever and ever. So you thought. I see. Listen, Ilya. Daddy? Can you wait for me, Ilya? Even if you're lonely, can you last till I come home? Mm hmm Good. And I promise you, I'll be home before you know it. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to go about it. <laughs> but look, I found this little baby. It's some dusty old book from deep inside our big storehouse. It looks like some of my ancestors were doing a bunch of research on how to go about summoning demons. So, like, I've just got to find out. Really it looks like demons. he's trying to make a summoning okay. portal you know? for our hero. Yeah. It did appear. It's just it's so dark. stupid of me to just chat with it for a while and just send it back to whatever pit of hell it came from. So, kid. If a demon does show up around here, would you mind letting it kill ya? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to be killed by a demon. How many people get to find out? 
You nigga, won't you kill yourself? Right? What's that? Huh? Wow, he did that with his big toe. God damn. Boy, I got steel. Who is this? Back to darkness again. Guess we won't be able to see. Within the vessel of a caster, I ask you your name. That's a long ass fingernails. Who art thou? Wait. <laughs> I like beetle geese. Uh, well, I'm Ryunosuke Udio, and I'm trying to do my jobs. My hobby is murder of all varieties. I really like kids and sometimes young women. Very well. The pact is now. So he's a pedo seat. too. It's my irresistible desire to possess the Holy Grail exactly as you do. The sacred vessel of paradise. The cup of awesome and terrible power will be ours. The holy... what? This nigga don't even know what he done did. How'd you like a little snack? Just no, he just like right? dark shit. <laughs> but that would just... I'd be dead before he even got a chance to try to eat me. Right. No. What is he gonna do? The hell was that? Don't be frightened, little boy. You'll be fine. No, it ain't gonna be that sweet. Hmm. No, we gonna eat him. Can you stand? Can you stand the rain? Right now, little boy. You can leave the room through that door right over there. Oh, no, I don't trust this nigga, man. I don't trust him either. He probably want to make it a sport or some shit. Hey, what are you doing? Shh. <laughs> I don't like this dude. Don't do that to the little baby. What are you standing there for? He probably can't move. He probably can't even move. Oh! Man. Get this nigga out of here. <laughs> this is a Ted Bundy ass dude. I knew the nigga. No, this is a Jeffrey Dahmer ass dude. The terror in its truest sense is not a static state, but rather a dynamic one. Right. It is the sublime moment when shining hope turns to utter despair. <laughs> this dude. Did you enjoy that? The tantalizing flavor of fresh terror and bloody death. Who his damn person is? Jack the Ripper. Awesome! You are the coolest thing ever. Okay, look, I don't know anything about this grail crap, but from this moment on, I am with you. Let's go kill. I want you to take me out and show me even cooler ways to torture and kill. Well, so you want to go on a date? The name is Rianosuke, correct? What a magnificent omen to be blessed with such an understanding master like yourself. <laughs> I feel my darkest dream is nearly within my grasp. Oh, hey, I didn't get your name. What is it? You wish to know my name? Let me see now. In this era, the most common name for me would be... Uh... <laughs> Perhaps for now, I'll just call myself Bluebeard. <laughs> Bluebeard? Well, I was like, is this Jack the Ripper? I thought he was going to say my name was Jack. But. Mm. They said that the seventh servant, a caster, has finally appeared. The final servant has been summoned. Then it's time. Indeed. You are to leave here now and head immediately to Tosaka Manor. And once I arrive... The manor is surrounded by a number of powerful magical barriers. But they should be child's play for you. <laughs> Are you sure about this? I was under the impression that you were allies with Tokyo Mitosaka. Don't you worry about that. Even if it means you Coat have to Archer in battle, no, the skirt there's flapping. no need to fear. No need to fear Archer, one of the three great night classes of the Grail Wars. That dude kind of is scary looking, but he look kind of cool. He do. I leave the rest to you. Eliminate Tokyo Mitosaka. 
at once. He <laughs> going in. Hey. Uh oh! He's all kind of seals. I recognize those jewels too. So he finna kill Ren's dad. Or try to. He finna try something. Tell me he ain't finna be like that successful like that. So I'm talking about know. how to preacher or uh, how to how to pastor the master. Uh, Kodamine got a hold of Gilgamesh. We ain't right. never seen him before, and he didn't mention him, but maybe this part was written before. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a true assassin. He is an assassin, yeah. He's thorough as fuck. Switch it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! These weak defenses. This will be easy. Right. This gonna be a piece of cake. You are nothing but a slimy worm. Who gave you permission to My boy Gil. No need. He did have Gilgamesh. Yeah. That's how he got Gilgamesh. He probably killed he, old boy. Yeah. He, God damn. Wait, he just made easy work of him like that? I guess so. <laughs> But we're gonna find out. I'm getting a little more interested now. A filthy worm like you should face the ground. Crawl on your stomach. That nigga power look clean in this. A lot. It looks a lot better. Hey, man. Jeez. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out, but. I mean, I knew it was gonna be some kind of way that he was gonna acquire Gilgamesh because we know that he got him in he, 2006 yeah, version. So, I forgot that he actually had. Gilgamesh, like that, 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 uh, Tosaka's dad had Gilgamesh. Also. Yeah. I was like, how did he get a hold of Gilgamesh? Like, That's probably how. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we gonna find out. It's, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> he, I don't know if he knew he had Gilgamesh or not, because if he sent, I mean, there was, he was right there, there with him. He was. Yeah, he was right there when okay, they Okay, then it's gotta him, be a grand scheme. Look, y'all, I'm still a little. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he was right there with him, wasn't he, guys? Like, he would know this. Like, we can go back and see. But it, either way, Okay, he gon he got a scheme plan. Something is gonna happen. So yeah, Kodamine, he's already a master. He's of, a manipulator, a lot, you know, yeah. and he's probably gonna persuade Gilgamesh to join his side. And he's gonna show him how to attain, I guess, immortality within this world or a way to sustain himself even without winning the Holy Grail. They gonna figure it out. I know that because we do know he becomes his master. Like, or yeah, he but it, him yeah, it, it was Sabre like they had a, a mutual thing, but technically it wasn't the master because he right? had, yeah, he had a Lancer, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he had Lancer, right? Yeah, but there's some telling me I'm he's still he's trying to figure out how to keep calling uh swordsmen archers. Is there something I don't know about? I don't know. I, you know, I think an archer can be anything from a person that's basically like a weaponsmith, like a person that just I makes different archer weapons. Was strictly but you know, archer. it's like, oh yeah, archer. Bow like and arrow bow and is arrow. what I thought. So I'm like, why do they keep calling people with a sword? But this character is like kind of like a zoning type that kind of releases projectiles, and he can perform close quarters combat with a sword. Maybe that's so. That's right. the way I look at it. We saw him launch a spear at this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain that, you know, to us so we can figure that out. But This yeah, poor assassin, like, though, man. Boy, he thought he was going to handle up on something. I thought he was, too. Though. This going to be a piece of cockade, okay? <laughs> this going to be easy. This going to be a breeze. Clip. Right, it's like nigga, we didn't have fun watching you just get through the surveillance. Right, so we you just, thought, nigga. Right, we did. We got you on tape right here. <laughs> got you, bitch. Basically, <laughs> so I'll, I'll get an episode of an A plus. Yeah, I'll give it an A plus too, man. I'm liking the world building. It's a slow burn, but it's kind of worth it at the end. It's like you always find something that you like about the episode so far. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, did you want to watch another episode? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into episode three, guys. It's going to be titled. What, what became, they better pick it back up where they left off because I'm trying to see. Uh, it, did that dude really die? Yeah, but this one is titled Land of Fuyuki. So, <laughs> you Fuyuki. But, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. That's so fast. Type four. Shake shields. Ooh. Little bondage, you freaky boy, you. Yeah. 
everything went well, still got that same glass right? juice. He like, he got the glass this morning. Tedious and squander my precious time, Tokiomi. I am very grateful, Your Highness. Your Highness. King, King of Warriors. Of I know, but Gilgamesh. King He's of all kings. To be a right now. Your deeds tonight will establish your prowess as king. And they will reveal which of our foes we must hunt and eliminate. I ask only that you stay your hand for just a little while longer. <laughs> Very well. For the time being, I shall amuse myself with simple reconnaissance. This there you go. truly fascinates me. I take that to mean the modern world is to your liking. It's unspeakably ugly. Yeah. But... That is fine in its own way. <laughs> no matter. I'll play along with your little schemes for the moment. Everything of value in this world belongs to me. So I can assure you, no matter how precious this grail of yours may be, I will never let a lowly mongrel even touch it without my consent. Damn. I'll leave the details to you. But that the Shazam Golden Dust. That ain't even no servant right there. That's that a piece ain't. Of a that's bastard. an entitled prick. Right. And I think that's gonna be the reason why we ultimately see him go to Kotomine. Honestly, he's gonna offer something more value. Within the Archer mm -hmm. class, considering their reputation for solo combat skills. To the treaty, I Kire Kotomine ask that the Church grant me sanctuary. Request granted. In my role as overseer of this war, I, Rise Kotomine, guarantee your safety here. Enter in peace. Father, isn't this church being watched? No. This holy place has been declared a neutral sanctuary. The holy church will censure any master who dares defy the decree. Then, you're sure it's safe here. Hmm. Some tells me dad ain't but quite. Still, Telling you the truth. Just in case. Post or if he is telling the truth, somebody gonna foil his plans. Mm. Yes. Understood. Who is this? It's another one? Who was observing the battle? Before the battle, I detected the presence of familiars from four separate masters. Two days ago, I was able to confirm the summoning of the final servant, Castor. All of the Holy Grail War servants should have now arrived, and the fighting will begin shortly. Mm. One unaccounted for. I had hoped that all the masters would be watching and taking note of the encounter. At this point in the war, observing the three families' estates would be a master's obvious course of action. Who the fuck are all these? That's right. And if they can't even think to do that, it would so these are all different assassins. I guess so. But they so they both playing each other. <laughs> <laughs> the battle for the Grail is now at hand. At last, it's time for the fourth Holy Grail War How? to begin. That's what I'm trying to figure out. old eyes of mine will finally see a wondrous miracle be performed. So you think, Dad? You'll be dead before you even get the blink again. Oh shit, it's the opening scene from Stardust Crusaders. Okay. Then give me a hat like that. Got that Mary J. Blige so outfit. Well, Saber, how did you enjoy your journey through the sky? Oh, oh shit! Really Shoo! You better wear that? Hell! <laughs> yes, well, I suppose that flying must be nothing special to a real hero, right? Looking like she belongs in a Jenny Jassy video. I was thinking, actually, it's black. It's black. It's time for you to be that. If required, I could have got on black and white. Mm. You could? Are you serious? My riding skill allows me to command any beast or vehicle, with the only exception being phantasmal or divine beasts. Alive! Kiritsugu was supposed to have arrived here in Japan already, wasn't he? That's right, 12 hours before us. But don't worry, he'll find us as soon as he's certain the time is right. For the moment, we'll just have to keep an eye on things so that we can act when the time comes. <laughs> We've come all this way. I'd like to enjoy the city before the fighting starts. That's dangerous. We should first concentrate on securing a base of operations and discuss plans with Kiritsugu. Well, yes, I suppose you're right about that. But it's such a waste. We've come all this way to such an exciting place. That and... It's my very first time traveling. I like how her blush exceeds her face. Right? <laughs> 
I can't. 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 I can't
So what about your desires? Surely you would have much preferred to have Kiritsugu to escort you around town today, right? Of course I would. But he couldn't. It would only cause him pain and suffering. Oh. Does Kiritsugu not enjoy the time he spends with you? When he's happy, for some reason, it seems to cause him pain. Because he's thinking about old girl up mm -hmm. in the hotel room. Seriously. They live in different lifestyles. An enemy servant? Yes. Making its presence known from the shadows. Who? 100 meters ahead. It appears to be inviting us to go over and see it. No, don't do it. How thoughtful. It wishes to decide on a battlefield. Shall we take it up on its invitation? Oh. I'd like nothing better. Let's it's go. It's time to get down. Who is it though? Is this the king or the conqueror guy? Come on, Ryder. Is it him? Here. I knew it was him. <laughs> and I hope he get taken out because he's kind of stupid. I like the character. I like the servant though. No way! Take me back down. I I can't handle this. No, I was talking about the servant is stupid. Oh, yeah. Both of them are kind of stupid, just different levels. I mean, the servant isn't necessarily stupid. He's just a. Uh, Who is this? Is this what's face? Charles gonna be doing so this. Hiding in their little holes. No, this is somebody. It's a Lancer. I've accepted my offer. That pure energy surrounding you. You are the servant called Saber. Is this the same Lancer? Look like it in the face. They both have blue hair, but he looks completely different in terms of outfit. Being unable to honorably name myself to my opponent in combat troubles Never mind, his hair is black. I harbor an enormous dislike of these rules. <laughs> you look cool. He do. The big ass gauntlets, what are yet? There we go. She's gonna get depleted. How far is Amelia from her? God damn it. Why would y'all end it right there, man? She. she right. Please. But guys, that was episode three. Uh, a very, I don't want to say interesting. Well, it is interesting in yeah, a sense. It's interesting because it's like everything is not as it seems as we kind of, well, as I kind of figured, uh, mm -hmm. Assassin is not really dead. It's like they got 50 more of them where that came from. And then the one thing that I didn't take into consideration that these characters or these servants, they have multiple lives. So if they get killed once, I think they still have like six or seven more to go. Or based right. on the caliber or class of the service. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, like that happened yeah, in the last Yeah, movie. so that one was just a peon and a mystery. Right, of a, a little bunch bald of head ass uh, assassin who just got too big for his britches and thought it was going to be cool. Right. And um, got sliced up. Yeah, so, you know, it's probably going to be others that kind of showcase similar abilities, but a little bit different because all of them have different statures and size and shapes and even genders. So that's going to be interesting to yeah, see what they do with that. Yeah, they probably all got their different strengths and weaknesses and stuff that they can do. So Right. Yeah, that was cool. Then we found out Emmy's dad really and truly was not shit. Yeah, it's like he... At least at this part of his life, he just was, you know... He is really a rolling stone. He just... <laughs> Actually, he, I could say even after the Grill War, he still wasn't shit. Why wouldn't you go back to your daughter? That's what I'm saying. It's like he has so a. So, I don't know if there is a good reason. If I'm. I mean, I look say at, if he's a him, killer or cold, stone cold killer that the dude 
you know, like any means, go through any means necessary to get what he wants, then I'm, I'm pretty sure that Cheating people... on his wife is just a step... Yeah, like everything is a stepping stone to him, you know, and that's what I'm it thinking. Ain't right, it ain't even nothing. And he lives multiple lifestyles. You can tell that, you know, he has his assassin lifestyle. His and family lifestyle. His family lifestyle. The whole Magi or whatever. Yeah, thing. Yeah. So he's got a lot going on and shoot. I'm just wondering, like, is he just, does he just have Saber protecting Irene right now? Because he think he can do it on his own. I know the goal was to, you know, while the other um, the masters were out trying to, I don't know, he was going to try to kill him. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I'll get that episode. I want to give it an F for fornication. Okay. <laughs> Because you can't be out there cheating on your wife. Right. <laughs> but I'll give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'm going to give it an A+, plus too, man. That was a very informative episode. I'm really liking that Conqueror guy. I know you don't too much care for him. because he's, 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 it's, he's funny, but he seemed to kind of not be that smart. And it's like... I just like the, the dynamic. The master is not that smart either, but the, they're both not the smart master in is, ways. Is, 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 like, both of them display, like, high intellectual, like, intellects or whatever. It's like they just have different interests. Like, the master, he knows all about the Holy Grail and all these other things, but the objective that he has is so naive and childish that it just makes him seem right. like... I'm going to show them. Right. I'll show you. You know, just be one of them bullies that raises his glasses up and he has to like the reflection cover in his eyes to show how menacing he is. He kind of reminds me of one of those, the eye glass raising villain, kind of like a mustache twirling villain, it's up junior edition. But the, the Conqueror guy, it's like he's trying to get accustomed to all these new advances you know of war and all that you know he's very inquisitive and he wants to know more about all that and then we're going to see how he does in battle and see how his views of the world impact this kid you know because kids they're very very you know like what do they call that impression impressionable of <laughs> certain things and he's going to kind of rub off on them. Both of them are probably going to rub off on each other. Maybe if he don't get depleted early on, we're going to find it's only 13 episodes of this unless this there's a, a second one. season. Okay, I'm about season to say right there's there got to be a second season because there's yeah. no way all this is going to go down in 13 episodes. Right. Because I don't even think, like I think Lancer and uh, Saber are going to fight, but I don't think either one of them is going to die right now. Yeah, uh, kudos to the voice direction. The voice direction seems like a stark contrast from 06. 06 just has very cliche direction. Yeah, it, every it, facet. They do sound better. Yeah, in this one, so. it's like Saber doesn't sound too epic. Like she knows what she is. Like she royalty and shit like that. She still has, like it's kind of toned down, but she has a sense of regalness to her. Right. It's just that sense of regalness, not the reminder yeah. of it. Yeah. Because everybody in the last one were edge lords. <laughs> You think so? <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody was too cool for school. Yeah. But this one, like, people have unique traits. Their personalities are better. I'm liking the different classes, you know. Like, they're the same classes, but they're different heroes. So, yeah, this is... Because you remember Ryder, she was like an edge, Lord, dominatrix type. Yeah, and now it's did. him. And yeah. then we had a... Uh... This has got to be a different Lancer. Yeah, even uh, Gilgamesh, even though he has this pompousness to him, it's not, oh, yeah, you took what's mine. Right. It was, <laughs> yeah, it's more subtle and laid back, but you can tell he's still an asshole. But right. it's like, yeah, laid the back way, asshole. The way he has that clunkiness to him and he walks and you can hear his arm real like. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I, I so far do like this one better now that I understand everything and I know what's going on. Right. It doesn't it, it doesn't beat you over the head with the same cliche shit over and over. Like I, I really appreciate that. that. Yeah. That makes me appreciate that I watched that one because it gives me more appreciation. Right. For this now one. I'm like, okay, this one I'm glad we watched this one first. Even though that seemed to be like a sequel to this. Yeah. It was okay that we watched this. Even first. though that one came out six years, I guess, prior to this one, because apparently this one came out in 2012. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, yeah. But that's gonna do it for us today, guys. We hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if there's anything that we missed or got misconstrued, be sure to provide context in the comment section below without spoiling anything. Which you guys are doing an excellent job of. So keep it up. But this is your boy RBG, my girl Johnny Lee. On the ones and twos, we ain't seen the reactions. We we'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. Fate Zero. Peace.